Hello, everyone. So I have this Baby Yoda image that is covered by some jigsaw puzzles. And as, as you uh, go through the images, you can see that the jigsaw puzzle slowly uh, get removed. So today I'm going to teach you how to simulate a puzzle reveal. And you can use this for your Google Forms, uh, Google Sheets, or Google Slides activity or wherever you want to use it. So let's get started. OK, so where I'm going to go is I'm going to go to Sketchpad. So if I go to Sketch.io, it'll take me to uh, Sketchpad. Um, so what you're going to do is when you first open the Sketchpad, you might have to create a new Sketchpad. So then you would just click on the plus button, and then it will give you the option to create a new canvas. I can create my own image on the Sketchpad and use that, or I can just import my own. In this case, I'm just going to import an image that I took a screenshot of, and I saved it on my desktop. So now I'm going to import that image. So to import that image, I'm just going to click the New button, and I'm going to click Import and find my image. OK, so here's this, the image that I'm using. So now what I want to do is I want to get a jigsaw puzzle template. So I'm just going to go search and for a jigsaw puzzle template. If I put input puzzle template in the search box, it'll give me a bunch of images. And now you're just going to decide how many questions or how many different jigsaw pieces you need for your activity. So I'm just going to uh, pick whatever template I need for the amount of questions that I want. OK, so I'm just going to choose a 12-question jigsaw piece. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this jigsaw template. Once I have taken a screenshot of my jigsaw puzzle template, now I can upload it onto this document. So to do that, I'm just going to click Layers. And I'm going to click Upload and find my screenshot. OK, so now I have the puzzle piece on top of my image. So now I'm going to resize it to match my canvas. OK, so once I have resized it to match my canvas, now I'm going to fill my jigsaw puzzle piece. So I'm going to go to the paint can here. Um, instead of vector fill, I want to select pixel fill. And then I'm going to choose what color I want to go on top. You can choose whatever you want, and you can even choose a design if you'd like. So maybe in this case, I'll choose a pattern. Um, for this case, you don't want to paint into the layers, so make sure this is off. So now I can fill my puzzle piece. OK, so all I did was click on. Uh, in each of the spaces to fill the puzzle pieces. OK, so now once my puzzle piece is filled, and I'm going to find the most recent clip art that I inserted, and I'm just going to make it hidden. OK, so once I uh, made it not hidden, now I have my completed puzzle piece. So now I could create a reveal. So what I can do is I can take a screenshot of this. Once I take a screenshot of that, I can go back to my layer, and then I can hide another piece. You can also choose to delete it, but I just find it easier to just to uh, hide it in case I mess up on any of the images. I don't have to click the back button. I can just hide and unhide. Okay, and then I can continue to take my screenshot. OK, so I finished with all the screenshots of my images. And here are all my screenshots. And now I can take these simulated puzzle reveal images and put them into any resource I like. That's how you simulate a jigsaw puzzle reveal. And that's it. Thank you for watching.